So that is why people are after us. Up to 2005, we opened only 22 schools and we became old, rather lazy. We became lazy that we are old, we should have uh, now rest in the, uh, these are proportional hostels. Then all those drug addicted people, all those notorious people, they come in, in buses, save our children, save our children. We are ruined, but our children should be saved. Then they say, they save our children. Then there was a bullet in my chest. That uh, old, man, old man, what would you do? By taking the breath in these all comfort uh, rooms, why not to help them? Then I, I was at that time 83 years old, something. I became 30 years old uh, person, very young. Man, I asked, you arrange the lands, we will open the schools. In 20 years, we opened only 22 schools. But in three, four years, we have opened in 50 schools more. And our target is white 12. Uh, we will open more than 150 schools, and within few years, we will open 500 schools. This is the only way we have seen that we can improve this society. The children, they motivate the, the elders. They have got so much power. They can motivate uh, even the um, uh, old person like me. With the, they with the holding hand, Papa, don't do that. This is, this is not good. The only thing is that we should concentrate on value-based education, not literacy. And if you can harness the, this young wealth, this children, and impart the value-based education, the whole phenomena of this hatred and differences, all, they will all go. In our school, all the uh, students uh, are studying, whether they are Muslim, Hindu, Sikhs, uh, everything, but they are in very harmony. They remain a brother, complete brotherhood. There is no any uh, difference. And they are much better than older. So this is the way how we can hammer out this type of formula uh, to improve the nation, improve the humanity. Barriers will be vanished. These are countries where you will be vanished. You create such type of, I would say, human material. So this, this requires wind power and resources. So this is what we are calling. And we have established university also there. And there are about uh, uh, six, seven colleges. And for women empowerment, we give uh, teaching in our school to the girls equally. Very nice. They are, they are more hard workers. But what we do now, poor girls in the villages, the, 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 in, in Punjab, I, I don't know, in Haryana also, people send the boy to a best school. They can spend more on the boy because they say they, they, that is our wealth. They will remain with us. And they don't spend on the girls. They say that is a prayat and they, they, that, this girl has to go to other house. Why we should spend more? We, why we should spend on that education? This is the notion in that. In that notion, they don't teach the higher education to the girls. What we do, they, they only study 10th or 12th in uh, uh, government schools. They don't know even EBS, ABC. There's so much copying. I ask the students, how much copying you have done? More than 75%. We pick up all those girls, about 10th plus 2. And pick up them, give them our, in our ashram at Badusa, and give them a free education. Free education up to university level. And their English is very much improved. And make them a good citizen. And after graduation, we have a B. Ed. college. We do that. And we provide the jobs in our schools. About 10,000, 10, 12,000, they stand on their own legs. Their value is very much improved. So these are the, the other also we have uh, two uh, hospitals, charitable hospitals, one in, in the inner Malaya region, can, even Canadian doctors last year 27 came there for plastic surgery. So we have got description center also we want to, uh, there uh, our success of uh, the indeed Dixon Center, it is more than 75% record. A world record is 40%. Our success is 
because spiritual component is there introduced. They, they become very good. They spread the message to the other addicted. Though, oh, you, you also come over here. So I am thinking we are doing all this social work to get the blessing of divine. So that this, our life should become divine for which we have come. Everybody has come to realize the divine within. If we realize the divine within, we are all brothers. There is no diversity. There is unity. So with this humble, I say, I must request you, sometime visit our, you see. And now we are uh, establishing one more institute that is naturopathy and alternative medicine. That would combine Ayurveda, uh, Yunani, Chinese, yoga, uh, acupressure, acupuncture, uh, we will combine all this. So I am telling you, uh, uh, our, this, uh, this body is a temple, divine temple. In this divine temple, divine is there. And we feel that it is my body, we enjoy it. We don't enjoy the divine bliss. So with that, we are, now I am 86. You please uh, uh, pray for me. If I, of the rest, I breath, I have, but we will have, I can, I mean, invest for this type of cause so that my life may be, uh, uh, become purified and become divine and I, I will be very uh, humble to the divine Lord that he has accepted my last breath. You also pray and come to our place and you will find many, many new ideas. Thank you very much. May God bless.